Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. And uh, today we are going to talk about one very important chapter, a very important interview question actually, that how to find the length of the string in Java without using any length method. Very famous, simple interview question. There are various ways of doing this. I simply created one main method and having testing as a, a string variable. I simply write, for example, system.out.println. And I simply write, let's see, str dot convert into two character array and uh, array dot length. But length is not a method here. The question is about without using length method. This is just length variable on the array to get the array size. So two character array will convert this string into character array. And let's see what exactly we are getting. So the output is seven. And you can check the length of the string is seven only. You can check one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Okay, so this is the simplest one. Second one is you can do system dot 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 print ln str dot last index of what? Last index of nothing. Okay, and then let's see. In this case also, it's giving you seven. So here again, we are not using any dot length method. Third way, what you can do is you can do a regular expression here. So I can use one pattern class pattern dot there is a method compile and simple regular expression for the which I'm using dollar over here this is the starting of the string and then dot matcher I'll be using matcher of what this matcher on string that we have already created this pattern dot compile will give you this matcher will give you one matcher a reference over here so let me store inside the reference matcher m is equal to this and this matcher you have to import from java.util.regular expression. This is the regular expression utility. After that, we have to find out. So m dot find. And then when you find out, you simply use m dot end over here. M dot end will give you what? M dot end will give you an integer, which will be the length of this string. So let's see, I'm storing in this variable, printing it on the console. So let's run it and let's see. So here also it's giving you seven. So this is another way of getting the length of the string without using length method over here. Okay. Let's see some more interesting ways. Here we can use split also. I simply write for example system dot dot print ln str dot split split on the basis of what? On the basis of nothing. And then you give me the length minus one. So here also it's giving you six. So instead of minus one, I'll be using length only. So here it's giving you seven. So you can see that split and then dot length. And that again, dot length is not the method here. It's a variable because the split will give you the string array. You can see that and applying dot length over here. I can use one string builder also. So you can simply create the object of a string builder. And in a string builder, I simply pass this particular str and I can simply use but here we have to use dot length though. So this is not the right solution. And dot length, for example, it's giving you one integer L is equal to this. But here dot length, I'm using it. So this is not the right way of uh, handling this question because dot length is strictly not allowed. But let's see it's giving you or not. Yeah, this is also giving you seven, but I won't recommend this. So you can ignore this one. Next one is very simple. We can use a count with the for loop. For example, I'm maintaining one counter which is equal to zero initially and start a for loop or for each loop for character C and what is a array str dot two character array. I can keep increasing the count by one plus plus over here. Right? And then out of this for loop, I simply write system dot out of print Allen. Whatever the count value is coming final out of the for loop, this C will give you will go to this particular character array every time and then keep increasing the value of count. It means it will iterate this complete array of this particular string that we have already created testing over here. And let's see what is the count we are getting. So here also we're getting the seven count, right? So like this also we can simple programmatically we can solve it. Other than that, what we can do is let's create a method over here and we will call that method with different uh, strings. So I'm simply creating one static method. Give me any string and I'll give you the length. So we will write the logic here in this method. And I simply write integer. For example, it's the i 
is equal to zero initially. And then I'll start a while loop over here. Make it true initially like that. And then whatever the string that you are getting it dot character at I character at will give you what exactly the character is available on a I position. And then first time character I equal to zero and keep increasing the value of I by one. And then I'll do one thing. I'll move this entire block in a try catch block like this. This is a ending of try and then start with catch because it will keep increasing. And once the I is getting out of the string bound, it will give you index out of bound exception. So it will come inside the catch block and I'll handle with the index out of bound exception over here. And then let's see E. And then what exactly I'm going to do a simple write return the value of I over here. Because by the time the counter I will be increasing and the moment the character I will give you index out of bound exception because uh, the character at it will tell you after seven it will try to get the fetch the value of the eight which is not available it will come over here and return I over here. It means instead of void I have to write integer. Right. So let's see it is working or not. Yeah. So I'll be calling this method and this will give you length. I'm directly printing it on the console and let's see what exactly the output. Great seven we are getting it. Right. For example, I'm passing Naveen selenium. So we'll give you 15 over here. So this is also we can simple do that. Yep, there is one more. What we can do is that. Uh, um, let's see, I'm declaring one variable integer. Length variable and. Uh, length we have already taken. So integer L1, let's see which will hold the very uh, length of the string. And uh, I'll start with a try block L1. I'm simple writing whatever the string that you have dot. Get the bytes. Of. Let me check if it will work or not with the UTF. 16. BE then give me the length and divided by two and uh, handle with the catch. Uh, let's see any exception E like that. So let's see. Are we getting the length or not? So I'm printing the length over here. System dot out print and L1 initially L1 is equal to zero. Let's run it again. Seven is giving perfect. So like this also we can use that string dot get bytes dot length divided by two and uh, if any kind of exception is coming it will come inside the exception and let's see with the str instead of str I'm using some other variable here three. This is perfectly. If I'm writing any alphanumeric string. L one two three string. Let's see. This is giving you ten seven plus three is equal to ten. Yeah, this is also working fine and let's do one more final solution. I'll take one method over here. My method name is public void get. Uh, let's see string length. And uh, this will take string str. It will return integer. So whatever the string I'm getting it. First I'm breaking this splitting this string on the basis of nothing. And this is split method will give you what string of array. We know that string for example st array is equal to this. And then I'm creating a variable integer count which is equal to zero and then I'm going to start a for loop which is like a string s in this array st array and uh, whatever the count that we are getting plus which is equal to s dot two character array dot length variable I can use it and then what exactly I'm going to do that return the count. So let's see this is working or not and my string this time I'm passing testing selenium completely and I'm directly printing it on the console. Whatever the return is coming. Uh, uh, sorry, not here inside the main method. OK, so let's see. So it's giving you 15 over here perfectly fine. So get the string length method which is absolutely working fine. You can pass once again. Let's see only testing. It will it will give you seven. You can see it's giving you seven over here. So this is another way of simple doing it. Nothing splitting it maintaining one counter 
starting a for loop on this particular string array and we know split will give you string array again using a string dot two character array using dot length variable not the method and whatever the length is coming keep adding in this particular count variable and once the loop is done and then return the count that's it so these are the various ways of guys uh finding the length of the string in java without using any length method people might ask you just to get you know about you know your basics of programming and basic uh, coding logic skills that's it thanks for watching this video guys we'll be seeing you in the next video with more and more good content a lot of good things are coming on this channel so please subscribe to the channel and let me know if you have any issues till then take care god bless you all